The Citadel announces the coming of winter and Littlefinger warns the small council that they do not have enough food for a protracted winter lasting more than five years. Cersei orders the city barred to refugees from the War of the Five Kings. Tyrion Lannister arrives to take up his position as acting hand of the king to Cersei's consternation. Stannis Baratheon learns of Jaime Lannister's incestuous relationship with Cersei in a letter sent by Eddard Stark before his death, which was sent with Petter's knowledge. Stannis composes his own missive and sends it to all the High Lords of the Seven Kingdoms, asking them to declare their loyalty to him and telling them of Joffrey's illegitimacy. Cersei tasks Littlefinger with finding the missing Arya Stark and needles him about his love for Caitlyn Stark. He responds by referencing her incest, reminding her that with knowledge, comes power. Littlefinger receives a violent reprimand when Cersei tells her men to cut Littlefinger's throat but then says she has changed her mind, in order to remind him of his place, and that being born into power can never match Petter's ambitiousness, threatening his life if does not locate Arya. King Joffrey Baratheon responds to the ensuing rumors by ordering a city-wide massacre of his father's bastards. The city watch storm into Littlefinger's brothel in search of one of Robert's illegitimate children, a baby girl named Bara. They rip Bara from her mother's arms and kill the child in front of Littlefinger's employees. Littlefinger mocks a request from the Night's Watch for assistance combating wildling activity and reporting an attack by whites. Tyrion has Lord Yano Slint exiled to the Wall for his part in the massacre. Littlefinger later has to reorganize a nobleman to whore with Armeka when Rose begins to cry during his time with her. She explains that she is traumatized with Bera's murder, giving her insomnia. In order to convince her that it is best for her to keep up her work, Littlefinger intimidates Rose with a story of a Lysine who did not bring him significant income due to her sadness, who he eventually sold to a violently perverted individual. He allows her to take the rest of the day off, but asks her to resume her work the following day. Tyrion meets with Littlefinger and outlines a plan to wed Marcella Baratheon to Robin Aaron to secure the support of the Vale. He promises to make Littlefinger the Lord of Harrenhal and Lord Paramount of the Trident in exchange for his assistance and swears him to secrecy. Pycelle is arrested for revealing that Tyrion plans to wed Marcella into House Martell and Littlefinger realizes that he was involved in a ruse. He confronts Tyrion who apologizes and offers him another opportunity to act as an envoy to Caitlyn to propose a prisoner exchange. Littlefinger reaches Caitlyn at Renly Baratheon's camp in the Stormlands. He faces a frosty reception from Renly but nevertheless offers to betray the Lannisters and open the gates of King's Landing to Renly's army. He takes interest in Renly's new bride Marjorie Tyrell and lets Marjorie know that he is aware that it is a purely political marriage because of Renly's homosexuality. He meets with Caitlin as planned and delivers Eddard's remains as a sign of good faith. She greets him with angry recriminations over his betrayal of Eddard and rejects his poorly timed advances. He delivers Tyrion's suggested exchange terms, Jaime for Sansa and Arya Stark. Littlefinger lies that the Lannisters have Arya in their custody. Renly is killed in mysterious circumstances and Littlefinger then approaches the Tyrells with a new proposal of an alliance with Joffrey. This will allow Marjorie Tyrell to remain a queen and provide Loras Tyrell vengeance on Stannis. He leaves the camp with them for Highgarden. Caitlin acts alone to free Jaime on returning to Rob's camp, just as Littlefinger suggested. Littlefinger travels to Harrenhal to propose an alliance between House Lannister and House Tyrell to Lord Tywin Lannister. When arrives at camp, his cupbearer, Arya Stark, who Cersei tasked Petter with tries to hide her face to prevent Littlefinger from identifying her. Bellish discusses the assassination of Renly, and the subsequent rallying of the noble houses from the Stormlands under the banner of Stannis Baratheon. However, House Tyrell of the Reach has retreated its large army back to their capital at Highgarden, and has not joined Stannis. Bellish discusses with Tywin the possibility of forming an alliance between House Lannister and House Tyrell. Littlefinger is successful in negotiating with the Tyrells and the Allied forces arrive in time to claim victory at the Battle of the Blackwater. Littlefinger is elevated to Lord of Harrenhal in reward for brokering the alliance. He jokes that now he must get started on producing some heirs. Hence, Sansa's betrothal to King Joffrey is broken so that Joffrey can marry Marjorie. Sansa is overjoyed at that she no longer has to marry Joffrey but tries to look heartbroken. 
Littlefinger warns Sansa that she isn't fooling anyone and that Joffrey will not let her go despite setting her aside. He stresses that, if anything, she is in more danger than ever, as she still remains captive, and now has no protection from her engagement. Lord Petter tells her that she reminds him of Caitlin and offers to take her home to Winterfell but she is reluctant to trust him, 